Krakow emerged from World War II virtually unscathed. It slumbered under communism until Poland won its freedom in 1989. Today, the city is Poland's leading tourist attraction with plenty of top-notch sites. After the Tartars destroyed their city, Krakowians built this imposing wall. The big round defensive fort standing outside the wall is a Barbican. It provided extra protection at the town's main gate. By the 19th century, the city wall was no longer necessary. Locals tore down most of it, filled in the moat, and planted trees. Today, this delightful and people-friendly greenbelt, a park called the Planty, circles Krakow's old town. To get away from the tourists' Krakow, bike or hike around the Planty and up the park that lines the Vistula River. If you think you're good at chess, challenge one of these guys. St. Mary's Church faces Krakow's marvelous market square. One of Europe's most gasworthy public spaces, it bustles with life. This square is where Krakow lives. Kids practice breakdancing, horse carriages take you for a ride, and folk bands add traditional color. When built in the 13th century, this was the biggest square in medieval Europe. Back then, you couldn't just sell things anywhere. Everything had to be sold here on the market square, or in the cloth hall. In the Middle Ages, this was where the cloth sellers had their market stalls. Today, whether you're looking for a fancy egg, some traditional embroidery, or a little amber, it's your one-stop souvenir shopping arcade. I find Polish culture and history both compelling and confusing. My friend and fellow tour guide, Kasia Derlitska, is joining us to be sure we get things just right. Let's go to a very special place. It is close to every Polish heart. It's Wawel, and Poland actually begins in Wawel. Wawel Hill is sacred ground to the Polish people, a symbol of Polish royalty and independence. A castle has stood here since the 11th century. Today, Wawel is the most visited site in all Poland. The highlight of the entire castle complex is the cathedral. Wawel Cathedral is Poland's national church. It's Westminster Abbey. To Poles, this church is the national mausoleum. It holds the tombs of Poland's greatest rulers and historic figures. Poland is devoutly Catholic. 75% of its nearly 40 million people are practicing Catholics. Pope John Paul II was a hometown boy and served right here as Archbishop of Krakow before being called to Rome. Catholicism defines the Poles, holding them together when nothing else could. Imagine, Poland was crunched between Protestant Germany and Orthodox Russia. During the partition in the 19th century, we didn't even show on the map, but we survived thanks to being Polish and thanks to being Catholics. 